Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Michael and today I'm going to show you how to make lemon pepper. You know the seasoning you get in the store? We're going to make it from scratch and I'm going to show you how easy this is to make. So I've got my dehydrator here and uh, we're going to be using that today to dehydrate the lemon that we're going to use for our lemon pepper. So I've got five lemons here and this is just uh, for a small batch. If you wanted to use one or two, you could definitely do that. If you wanted to use more, you can. So what we're going to do is I've given these lemons a wash. You definitely want to make sure of that because we're going to take the outside skin off of it. So I've got just a potato peeler here and I'm going to take that and I'm going to run that down on the outside of my lemon. And you can see what I've taken here. I'll get a close above. You can see I did not get down in that white part. It looks like I did, but I didn't. And you can see here on the skin. So this is what we want for our lemon, for the uh, lemon pepper seasoning we're going to make. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all these lemons and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, that didn't take very long at all. I've got my lemons peeled now and I'm going to be using these in some lemonade and I'm going to make some of that. So you want to do this before uh, you um, cut them. It makes them a little bit easier to peel them that way. And if you don't have a lot of them, you can definitely do this a little bit over time. You can take these and then put them in a little bag. You put them in the freezer. And then when you get ready to make your lemon pepper, you can pull them out, let them thaw out, and you're ready to go. So I'm going to make some lemonade with what I've got here today. And I've got my uh, lemon skins, and I've got my dehydrator. So let's get that loaded down now. All right, so we've got my dehydrator here. And if you haven't seen my video on how I dehydrate some peppers, uh, check that video out. I go into a little bit of detail about these dehydrators and things. But I'm going to use a silicone mat on this one again. And this is perforated, so the air will get through it. And I'm going to use that with these lemon skins because I've got some that are pretty small here and I don't want them falling through the grates on those. So I'm going to go ahead and load my food dehydrator down with my lemon peels. And we want to put those, space those out as much as you can. And we'll see how many trays we get here of these. I might have to go get some more trays, but we definitely want to see what we come up with on this. Now that I've got my lemon peel loaded into my dehydrator, I did get two trays out of it. And this is uh, what I had with five of these lemons here. These are fairly large lemons. If you have smaller ones, you might need a little bit more than that. But these are fairly good size. You can see in my hand here about how big they are. About the size of a baseball. Those are pretty good size for lemons. Uh, so definitely, if you've got uh, smaller ones, you might need more. If you just make a small batch, then that's good too. So they're good for future when you get them dehydrated. So definitely, we're going to put this in here right now. All right, let's put the lid on our dehydrator. And now we're going to put these on. And we'll check them in about four hours at one, between 125 and 135. And we'll keep a watch on these. If you put these in it before you get ready for bed, you could definitely do that. Get up the next morning, they'll be dry. Uh, but we're going to look at these in about four hours and see what they do. And I'll let you know once they get dried, how long these took in this dehydrator. So I will see you back through the magic of this video and these will be dehydrated. We'll see you soon. I am back and it's been about four hours since we started the process of dehydrating my lemon peels. And I wanted to show you what these look like. Uh, these dried out really nicely and you can see here they've got a nice crunch to them. So I'm gonna put these in my little glass jar and I'm going to make sure that they are dry. And so we'll put them in the jar. I'm gonna transfer them now and we're gonna check on it. And if I see any moisture within the next 24 hours and I know they're not dry, and we'll put them back in our dehydrator. So let me transfer my lemon peel to my jar and we'll get that sealed up. I am back and I've got my lemon peels here. They look really good. I didn't see any moisture in these, so we are ready to move on to our next step. So now we're gonna process our lemon peels and I've got my little smoothie attachment here that goes to my blender. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but that's what I call it. I normally use a little Cuisinart food processor that I got, but I saw this laying over there with the a blender this morning and I thought I'm just gonna give this a try because it's got the blades on it just like uh, my bigger uh, blender does it works really well with this so we're going to load our lemon peels into our little container here and we're gonna put the top back on it and then we'll put it in the machine and we're gonna give these a blend up because we want to see how much we've got here because this is just really eyeballing because you can make so much of this or as little as you really need and so it's just kind of an eyeball looking at the lemon versus the pepper ratio to it. So let's give this a blend and let's see how much we have of this. Wow, that did not take any time at all. Less than 10 seconds. And this actually did a very good job of processing this. Not fine powder, but it's very close to it. So we want kind of a little bit of a rust stage to it. So you don't have to mince it all the way down to what's just fine powder. So now we're going to look at this and I probably have about two tablespoons of my lemon peel in there. 
And let's add some of our black pepper corns. These are whole black pepper corns. Kind of measure out here and see what we got. Just probably maybe 15 to 20 of these. I hadn't counted them to see what they are. So we're just going to drop these in here and we're going to see what that takes us. We'll put the attachment back on it. We'll give these a little blend together. And then if you think you might need some more, we'll add some more to it. So this is just definitely your taste when you like. If you like more peppery taste to it, more lemony taste to it. But now we're going to blend this together and see where we are with this. All right, that is looking good. I'm probably going to put some more pepper in mine just from looking at it. So I'm going to do that exact same amount again, and we will blend that back together. All right, that's about the same amount that I had before. Let's put that in. We'll put it back in the machine and give it another blend through. That smells really good. I love the smell of the lemon pepper uh, seasoning that we're making here. And from looking at this, I'm probably going to put another handful of that pepper in there. And I think we'll be ready with this. So let me make another dash of that in my hand and blend this through. All right, that is looking good. I'm going to grab a small little glass container so you can see what this looks like. And I'll be right back. I've got a little ramen in here. I'm going to put that in there so you can see what that looks like and what my consistency looks at it. So I'll kind of hold that up so you can see that that's got a good blend of pepper and lemon to it. And the smell of that is incredible. So this is how easy lemon pepper seasoning is to make. And once you get through with this, put it in an air container. This is a little bit too big for what we've got here. I've got some smaller ones, but I'll transfer this to my airtight container. And we'll use this instead of buying the store-bought. So I hope this has inspired you to try some lemon pepper. And if you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And check out one of these other two videos over here. You might find something that you like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and try this easy lemon pepper recipe. I know you're going to love it. You're not going to want to buy the store-bought again. If you're already buying lemons, why not use the peel on them? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye now.